Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Sailing Loon. I'm Aurora. And I'm Ben. We wanted to give you all a quick update. The engine has arrived and is currently being installed. All of our projects are wrapping up really quickly and we hope to be in the water in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. In this episode, we'll be continuing our refit in the boatyard and tackling a bunch more projects. If you have any questions about us or video topics you'd like to see, please comment them down below. Thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed, and if you haven't yet and you enjoy our videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Happy New Year, everyone! We're back from the holidays and back on the boat. We're here for a couple days with some very special guests. First guests on the boat, my parents, who have come to help us out with some projects. So we're very excited to get some work done. My mom. Hi, I'm so excited to be aboard the loon. And my dad. This trip was pretty crazy. We didn't have a chance to film a lot, but we did get a huge amount of work done. So saying that, let's get into the first project, the electrics. Over the holidays, we had the boatyard install a new set of AGM batteries. They weren't installed exactly how we liked them, so we had some cleaning up to do. They had this wire was jammed under here, so at some point, you can even see the little mark there, that would have rubbed through onto there and that would have been a potential of a, uh, a battery fire. But uh, we've cranked it over and tightened everything down. So after fixing a couple of rubbing wires, tightening down most battery terminals that were loose, and fixing a couple of cross-threaded battery terminals, we now move on to the solar. Well, I'm going to extend, this is the, uh, the second controller wire up to a, uh, we're going to hook up a small solar panel just for the starting battery, 50 watts. I'm just going to clean this up. We need these tips, but as you can see, there's uh, three connections in 12 inches. That's just a potential problem of corrosion and uh, whatnot. So I'm going to cut this, clean it up and install it properly. Nice. Ben's working away over here. Wiring in some cords. Solar panel wires. What are you wiring? We're finding a better spot for the solar panel wires to go without drilling a permanent hole through the deck. All right. Because I'm not sure where I want the hole through the deck to go yet. So this hole is just temporary? Yes, it's the vent to the engine room. Well, I was uh, just cleaning up a little bit of a rat's nest here, taking out extra wires, cleaning it up, making sure everything was zip tied, and I put the, mounted the controllers in here. Uh, we were actually removed one controller uh, as it wasn't uh, needed. So I've just got one more uh, wire to run in here, and then this is done in here. Okay, our next problem is when we turn on our stereo VHF and radar they don't come on but if I go in here and wiggle the connections look over there they turn right on so clearly we have some corroded connections or something of the sorts we're gonna have to pull all the connections apart and uh, probably get some dielectric grease or clean them up coat them with dielectric grease and hopefully that'll solve the problem for good. After cleaning, let's see if these turn on, we did what we need to do. So we've cleaned up the battery bank a couple of corroded connections and the solar. Now it's time to replace the VHF radio. All right, new VHF is in and we just Now 
this VHF radio has a built-in uh, GPS, so we do not need to hook up the NEMA cables. All right, so here is the aft cabin, all set up. It's small but cozy. Ben and I are gonna take this room and give my parents the forward cabin. So we'll see, we'll see how this bed is. It's actually wider at the top up here than the V-berth if you're sleeping with your head in the far end of the V-berth. So this might actually be comfier in here. We'll let you know how it is. We had a wonderful sleep in the aft cabin, and the next day, the boys continued working on the electrics while my mom and I cleaned everything from the deck to the bilges. All right, gave the deck a bubble bath. She's looking so clean. While cleaning isn't the most exciting boat project, it is very necessary and we hope it's satisfying to watch. Cue the cleaning montage. There's four people on the boat, and this is what it looks like inside currently. Just chaos. There's not much room to walk around. I ordered a spice rack. Um, it's so cute. It has all the little labels and matching clear jars. And then it's like a metal rack, and we're gonna mount it here, right here in the kitchen. We're finally hanging the spice rack! Okay, so to make the spice rack level, we're not gonna use a level because the boat isn't level. We're going to Our measure. Do not move, do not breathe. And voila. All right, hello everyone. We are back at our home base on the other side of Florida. And we have a couple projects we've brought home with us. So we're going to be refinishing the metal baskets that fit in the fridge, as well as the trim for our port lights. So come along. All right, here is our setup <laughs> with some beach chairs. So we have our old um, trim for the port lights, which aren't in the best shape. These are the metal drawers in our fridge that are also in rough shape. We have a metal brush and some steel wool for this trim. Um, we also have a bit of sandpaper. We're going to prep these super well and then spray painting them. We're going to be spraying the fridge shelves with this plastic, plasti dip sort of spray and then the porthole light trim with just a silver spray paint.
You're starting off with just a super light dusting and then you layer it up. All right, we're on our fourth coat and I think final coat, but they're starting to look a lot better. Check them out. All right, the trim is all done. We did four coats and I think it turned out pretty good. So let's go, let's go put the trim on the boat. Let's get this trim on. These are what the portholes look like before. All right, so I'm using this heavy duty Velcro. And I'm just putting a little on each end. Then we apply. Just fit it in and then press. Look at that. Looking good. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next week for an exciting episode where we watch our brand new engine swing through the air.